everybody, welcome here to the Budget Collector, reviewing a Nightmare on Elm Street GameStop exclusive, made by NECA. The box here is made to look like the box for the game, the NES game. It does say New Line Cinema, Cinema down here, I always butcher that word. Um, on the front, it shows you it's a GameStop exclusive. The official NECA seal of approval, rather than the Nintendo seal of approval. On this side here, very simple. Looks just like the box, so a little weathering up here, it looks good. Then on the back, got a picture of the removable hat, the glove. Okay, so the back here goes over the removable hat, the razor glove and his hideous face as it says. There's a little short story on the back of it. It says something frightening has been happening on Elm Street lately. It seems that with each waking day another gruesome discovery is made. Another neighborhood teen has mysteriously passed away into the dark stillness of the night. Everyone says it's natural causes. But it seems as if Something or someone has been picking them off one by one in their sleep. It's a horrible nightmare come true. And this nightmare has a name. Freddy Krueger. I'm not going to continue reading. You can end up zooming in if you like. Let's get around to the front. So you have graphics from the game. Right here. You got a little R.I.P. Tombstone. All in 8-bit. You have, So the evil is purged, fire purifies all. The bones are ashes, soon to be dust. Freddy is dead, and the nightmare is ended. Or was it? You have 1-up, 2-up, 3-up, 4-up, lives, um, everything right there. It says Nightmare on Elm Street in 8-bit style. Um, I don't know if you could see him inside it really good. I know there's usually the glare through these. But we're going to open it up anyhow and take a closer look. Okay, box came right off so easy this time. Alright, you have some graphics on the back of the paperwork here. You got the blue house. 8-bit style, looks good. Um, if you were trying to set up some kind of diorama, it would look nice. Now let's take a look at his hat. Um, there is a little bit of extra paint on it. Other than that, it does look good to me. I do have the clothed version with the cloth already. Um, we will do that one at a later date. I like that style packaging, so I might not want to open it. I might have to find another one first so I can keep one closed, but we'll see. I know I always say uh, I'm open box only, but sometimes I like the boxes. Okay, so he looks good to me. His face looks like a nice avocado that's flesh-toned instead. Um, the orange really jumps out to me. That is the reason why I keep buying different NES-style Freddy's. I'm very happy with them. Now we'll take a look at the back. So here we go. The back looks pretty good. He has his frayed shirt. Um, you know, his pants are well-wrinkled. You know, it is what it is. It's, it's an NES version of him. The glove on the NES version, I, I find that's my biggest disappointment every time due to the fact that it's not the brown and the metal color. Like the other ones, it's more of a flesh tone. All right, let's take a look at the articulation. First, the head. Um, spin all the way around. Just like in true Freddy fashion. Up like that, or looking down like that, looking up like that. Um, 
his gloved hand about 90 degrees you can go all the way around now his ungloved hand same thing I actually like the detail a lot on the ungloved hand it really stands out how much work they put in that sculpt the head and that look great the shirt in the neck area looks really good to me because you could even see the burnt flesh underneath there don't know if you could quite see it on camera but in person it looks great legs really stiff but like that and not a lot of rotation down here the plastic is stopping it overall I would say this is probably an 8. I really enjoy it. I want to get this posed up with some kind of diorama and have him, have him look like he's killing somebody in the 8-bit world. Alright. All in all, love the figure. Very happy with it. Love the box. Um, I would say if you haven't gotten it yet, really need to get out and get it. So thank you so much for checking out the Budget Collector. Make sure you like, subscribe, um, you know, we need comments, I, I really need you to share, notifications gotta be on, make sure that bell's on, please, um, let me know if you love my videos, please, and if you, you hate my videos, let me know too. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video of all my bloopers, trust me, I do about 100 takes per scene because I end up saying something funny and I ruin the shot. So if you guys would like to see some of my bloopers, let me know and I'll put a whole blooper reel together. Um, thank you. Peace.